Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video of Tech Talks, we're going to be talking about the differences between the two fuel system, the normal fuel and the premium fuel. So let's get started. You must have seen two different types of fuel whenever you must have gone for a refill on your car or your bike. Well, what are the differences between the two? First, let's talk about the octane number. The normal fuel has octane number of 91, whereas the premium fuel has octane number of 93 to 97. Now octane number relates to two different things. The first one is knocking. When the air fuel ratio comes inside the combustion chamber, it should ignite due to the spark from the spark plug. But when it ignites due to the temperature of the cylinder walls, cylinder head or piston, that is when knocking happens. And that is not a good thing. The second is the pre-ignition. As the name states, when the combustion happens, before the combustion actually should happen that is called pre-ignition and how do we prevent this by increasing the octane number and that is why all the performance bikes or performance cars always recommend you to have the premium fuel inside the fuel system now secondly let's talk about the additives the normal fuel generally do not have any additives because that is basically made for the lower compression engines or the bikes which are for general day-to-day -day commute so that is why it is cheaper and it is more readily available. The second which is the premium fuel has additives which help in cleaning out the system of the bike or the car which is injector or the fuel pump or anything of that sort. That is why it is more expensive and it has detergent properties. Now let's talk about the third point which is more power. Will you be getting more power out of premium fuel over the normal fuel? Well, actually no. The power of your engine depends upon how the manufacturer sets it and how well you maintain your bike or your car. Well, if you add a premium fuel on your daily day-to-day -day commute bike, you will not be getting more power, but you will be getting a quicker response. Why is it that? Because the fuel is more cleaner and the combustion will be more cleaner. That is the reason there is a dilemma out there that the premium fuel will give you more power out of your bike. Now finally to conclude this, let's talk about which fuel you should be getting on your bike. Well a straight and a simple answer to this is your owner's manual. Every manufacturer states what kind of fuel should be used in your bike. But if your bike is 100 to 200 cc segment then you are better off by a normal fuel. Because your bike is actually not using all the benefits of a premium fuel. But if your bike has a higher compression engine like a RC390 or any 600 cc or later class bike then you should be always getting the premium fuel because the higher compression engine will actually use the premium fuel benefits more so that is why all the manufacturers who have a higher compression engine bike always states you to have a premium fuel on your bike so there you have it a general discussion on the differences between the two fuel system but if you have any more questions do leave them in the comments down below and i'll make sure i'll answer them and if you learned something from this video, a uh, thumbs up would be appreciated. And as always, let nothing hold you back in life and always keep moving forward. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.